Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you once again for tuning in. Today we are out here. We're gonna cruise with Illis. They hooked it up with a shirt. Hey, Got Mark. The hookup, the hookup. Dude, the camera's back, the fat camera. Bro, we're back. Huh? Dude, it's good to see you, man. How are you? It's been a long time, bro. Hey, yo, thank you for inviting me. Hell yeah, dude. Just I... to see my dream car? That's cool. Yeah, look at the homies pulling up too. I finally get to see this car in person. Guys, if you are new to the channel, this is my dream car. I really want this car someday in black. But that fitment is insane. I cannot believe that's ride height. They're giving everyone some gear to be able to wear, but man. Tire cover is that a state of speed Gardena? Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> Dude, I'm so high right now. Like, I'm like speechless. Like, it's dope that everybody got together. Bro, I want that car so bad. Dude, it's so sick. He's like, I'm gonna be the only Lexus out here. I was like, I got you, fam. <laughs> Jason, pull up. Even if you were the only Lexus, that car is just so sick. Literally, space coupe. Yeah, bro. It's, it's like a little UFO. <laughs> They moved some cars over there, shooting photos. I got to speak with the owner of the LC, Alex. Gave me some insight about the car and honestly, probably one of the best purchases he's ever made. I love that car. He gave me a rundown on like how much things cost. I already kind of knew because I researched a lot of parts for this platform because I really do want to get it someday. Double, triple the price of all the parts for my car. Like, dude, every car mod for this car is like a thousand dollars plus, no matter what. This is a whole nother ball game. We out here, baby. We're little hot boys. <laughs> good boys. Yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. I didn't even know you're on top of a car because you look so good. <laughs> All right, guys, we did some shoots, everyone in front of their car. Now we have every car lined up. Using the little drone. It's pretty chill. Kind of like the order that they have everything. Black, white, two individual colors, silver and gold, and then white, black. Oh, yeah, that's good. <laughs> That is an insane ride height and I still can't believe that he does it. We have all the cars over here now. I aired out to my low ride height. You know, for all the static boys, I just want to look static. I think it looks better like that, not tucked sometimes. Oh. Dude, your ride height is so low that when you air out, it's like... Just a little bit. <laughs> That's the low cruise, I just do that to move it around. You are the definition of drive low, park lower. I used to be the definition of static guy and now I have bags so this is what I do. <laughs> but you still drive low so that's respect. Wait till sure. you see me pull out of here at monster truck height. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so happy there's another black car so I'm not the only one that has to deal with the pains of owning a black car. So you guys didn't know this is my second favorite BDS wheel. It's my second dream wheel. gentleman moved his car just to let me get in my car 
Oh, we got trouble in paradise. <laughs> I'll say, get in no, there, let's get in the shoot. I want to get a shot. Like, seriously. Just turn the lights on. Do we have an extra shirt for him? Oh, oh you yeah, 100% you got a shirt. I love a shirt. Really? What do you want, extra large? Got it, man. Oh my god. <laughs> if you guys get in the shot, that would be so <laughs> crazy. Can we get the back of the shot? No, no, no. <laughs> oh. What aspect of the police car do you want? I don't know. Just the back? The back of it? Like behind yeah. your guys' car? Oh, what do you think? Yeah, right here we can have you guys kind of group up together. Alright guys, super fun hanging out with everyone. They're still shooting, but I wanted a little bit of AC because it's kind of hot. It's not that bad, but <laughs> now I remember why I don't go on photo shoots because I kind of just stand around and do nothing. Besides like talk to the photographer or like whoever's there. It's kind of nice to be out again, see all these cool cars, like I'm just super glad there's another Lexus here. and. It's so sick to finally see my dream car in person, modified. Most of the time I see it, it's like lightly modified or stock, but ah, this one's so clean. Someday though, I'm, not, I'm in no rush. It'd be cool to have your dream car, but I don't know. I want to take my time. I want to make sure I do everything right. You don't want to jump into something that you just think you can afford, but then in the long term, you might not be able to afford it. Like, no, I want to do everything right and comfortable. Like me modding this car, doesn't hurt me as much as people think. Everyone is always like, oh man, you spend so much money on your car. Like a lot of the stuff that I get is super, super cheap. If you are on the fence about trying to buy something, whether it's for your car or whatever, don't buy it unless you can afford it three times. When I got my roll cage at that moment in time, I was able to afford it three times if I needed to. But it's just to make sure that you have money, right? And to not hurt yourself, your equity, your finances, and your stability over something as silly as this, you know what I mean? Everything that you ever see me get from my car, it's either free, super cheap, or if it is really expensive, I can't afford it three times so it doesn't hurt. I'm just trying to help all my boys out there because this lifestyle, this hobby, this passion, it is not cheap. But yeah, they need to fucking hurry up because your boy is running out of gas. This is my first time seeing the inside of an LC and this totally solidified it for me. I was thinking if I were to get the car I'd want it black and red and now I think I'd go with black. Black on black just like my car right now. This is just way too fire. It's so clean. Finally we're all mobbing to the gas station. So sick. Haven't cruised with a bunch of cars in a long time. So this is actually pretty fun. Can't see them because of my roll cage, but but I can see them all right here. I know a lot of you guys complain about gas, but I don't think it's that bad. Could be better. The reason why I don't think it's that bad is because it's a necessity, you know? You need gas. I mean, I would think it's expensive if I had a truck for sure or a V8, but like if that's your only car and that's the only way you have of getting around, then yeah, it's a little expensive, but it's also a necessity. Like toilet paper, paper towels, everything went up in price, but you know, you can't really complain about those things because you need it. To me, it's not a big deal. Yes, it does hurt, but at least I can drive. $93 exactly. That is probably the most I paid for gas in a while because I usually put increments of like 60 bucks because I don't ever really need a full tank. I don't drive that far. Yo, that thing is so fire. Oh, Lexus boys. driving in a straight line up and down the street so it's not really much to film besides these dope ass cars but I'm pretty much gonna enjoy my time have my cooled seats on because I'm gonna have the windows down so I shouldn't have the AC on but with these seat coolers and the new vent that I have installed very nice driving behind this thing is a dream look at that 
Fitment. Goals. So crazy, this fucking dude right here saw our cars and he was like, damn, who built those BBSs? And he was saying that he has a F8 on BBSs. He lives five minutes from here, he's gonna bring it right now. We might get more cars, that's so sick. Yo, this lineup is insane. We got the car to do the rollers. Oh man, nothing but good vibes out here, it's so sick. Is this what you do? No one's good enough to shoot your car, so you shoot it yourself? <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> Dude, this car is so thick, I love it. <laughs> it's not even, like, yes, it is your fitment, yeah. but, like, the car itself no, is thick. No, but that's the thing, you don't it's know like, it man. until you throw, like, good fitment on, bro. Yeah. Like, Do you have any piece of advice you'd want to tell someone that has a way lower tier Lexus that wants this someday? Um, Just for all the viewers out there? Start a TikTok, launch something, and hope it does well. <laughs> That's all I got for you. Or get a real job. Highly recommend getting a real job. <laughs> Guys, this is what it's all about. We got some people chatting over there with their cars, trying to get some new ideas. We got some people shooting over there. Nothing but good vibes. And now I'm going to eat some food. I was like, bro, I want some rs but they're like, dude, they won't fit. Like, yeah, they won't fit that. <laughs> they, don't, they don't come big enough. To get the concave ones? Dude, he really brought it. it That's crazy, that's the whole bro. Fucking that point, you know? In the back, <laughs> <laughs> bro, I don't even like supercars that much, but it's on BBS. Three thirty-five. Who brought their NSX? Who brought their? <laughs> I love this thing. Buy from Poland. There's some dude in Poland that sells them. I seen that. Five hundred bucks. Like on eBay. All of these. These cars just hard. Oh man. I'm gonna eat all their asses. So sick. I love cars. Later, bro. It's great meeting you. Thank you for coming out. Thank you. Later, bro. All right, guys, finally leaving the spot. We're gonna head over to Yard House, grab some food, maybe some drinks. Just kick it and get to know everyone. Shot a thumbnail with my car and Alex's car. It's so sick, honestly, it's just inspiration because he did it, you know? He used to have an RC350. He built that thing, it looks so nice, and now he has an LC, so. I feel like any of us can do it. We just have to try really hard. Also, I don't know if you guys know the brand Bum, this is the owner, Kenny. He drives an M4. He used to have a Lexus RC and it was slammed. So there's a lot of people that definitely appreciate Lexus. It's so crazy to see people like try Lexus once in their lives. Like that's so sick. All right guys, just made it back home and huge shout out to Illis oh. for having us. Today was dope because it really put into perspective the LC500 for me. But today I really got to hear numbers and see like what kind of a ball game this is. Honestly, I know someday I will get it. I feel like I can work hard enough to get it. It's just not a priority, but I'm in no rush. I really love my car. I still have the Supra to look forward to. Like life's just been pretty good and I'm just taking it day by day. Supercharger is still happening on the Lexus. So that's gonna be cool to look forward to until it breaks down. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. If you're new to the channel, I'm Jason. If you enjoyed the video, click the subscribe button. If not, maybe I'll get you in the next video. <laughs> I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and I will catch you in the next video. Don't forget, it's always better to look good than to feel good. Oh, later. <laughs>